Welcome to this tutorial video. The goal of this video is to show you how to view the admin event history of all SMSs and emails that have been sent by any user on the GoodX system. All SMSs and emails that have been sent can be accessed from the admin event history screen. Users will be able to view all communications that have been sent to the debtor or patient, like booking reminders, payment requests, payment surveys, clinical documents, etc. All users will be able to see whether the communication that was sent was sent successfully, as well as to resend any previous communications. On the main diary screen, click on the admin tab on the navigation bar. The admin screen will open. Click on the admin event history tab. The SMSs and email history screen will open. The following options will be available on the screen. Data filter. The data filter will allow the user to filter the contents of the screen to a specific data's communication history. Click on the data filter field to input the name, surname or data number of the desired data. From, which is the date from when the user would like to see the SMS email history. Click on the From field to open the calendar in order to select the date from when the history should be shown. Click on the desired date to make a selection. The selected date will be included in the filter results. 2. The date up to when the user would like to see the SMS email history. Click on the To field to open the calendar to select the date to which date the history will filter. Click on the desired date to make a selection. The selected date will be included in the filter results. Click on the Refresh button to refresh the event history in order to apply the filters that have been selected. Please note that every time filters are applied for changes which are made, the user needs to click on the Refresh button in order to allow the system to apply the filters and changes to the event history. Event types are the different types of communication that have been sent to the patient or data. The following event types will be available on the screen. Call event. All call events that were made in the practice from the system. Email. An email that was sent to the data or patient from the system. Grand Central Sync Write. An invitation which was sent to the debtor or patient to sync their information with the practice. Note. A note which was logged on a data patient file. Patient survey. The debtor or patient who was sent a survey to rate their experience at the practice. Payment requests. A request for payment which was sent to the debtor or patient as they have an outstanding balance at the practice. SMS, an SMS that was sent to the debtor or patient from the system. The user can tick or untick an event type checkbox in order to include or exclude the data from the event history screen. Click on the Select All button in order to select all the communication types and include them on the event history screen. Click on the Deselect All button in order to unselect all the communication types and exclude them from the event history screen. The following buttons will display. However, they are grayed out and the function is not yet available as it is still under development. Print allows the user to print the event history. Download allows the user to download the event history and save it to their computer. Email allows the user to attach and send the event history via email. The information on the event history screen will be divided into columns. Type, the event type of the communication that was sent. Message, the contents of the message that has been sent. Status, an indication if the message was sent, scheduled to be sent, or waiting to be sent. Data number, the account number of the person responsible for the payment of the account to whom the communication was sent. Data, the name and surname of the person who is responsible for the payment of their account. 
patient, the name and surname of the patient to whom the message has been sent. Create date, the date that the communication was created to be sent. User, the system user who actioned the communication that was sent. Task, when a task was created for a specific event, the details thereof will be displayed here. Reply, if the recipient replied to an SMS or email that was sent to the practice, the information thereof will display here. Recipient, the contact number or email address to where the communication has been sent. Resend allows the user to send the same communication to the same recipient. Click on the Resend button in order to resend the SMS or email. The color of the Resend button will change to dark blue when it was resent and the event that was resent will be added to the event history log as a new entity. Click on the Close button to exit the Admin Event History screen and return to the main diary screen.